And now we have a listener question. And our listener question this week comes from Darren. Hi there, guys. This is Darren from London. I love what you're doing with the Blind Android Users podcast. Keep up the great work. I've got kind of a question about fingerprint authentication. I'm really struggling with unlocking my phone at the moment. I've got a Pixel 6a, and it's running the latest um, security and feature update date of Android 13, at least the main release. I'm, I'm not on any beta channels or anything like that. And basically, I'm finding that at the moment when I put my finger on, or at least try to put my finger on the fingerprint sensor, I'm really struggling for it to recognize my finger. It works some of the time. I can usually manage to get in maybe 15, 20% of the time. So perhaps one time out of five or six attempts. But it would be great if I could actually find a way of more reliably putting my finger on the sensor because I suspect the issue is that I just can't feel the sensor and so I'm putting my finger in the wrong place which is why it's not recognizing my fingerprint but um, I don't know any advice or tips are there any for instance tactile overlays I can get that will highlight the fingerprint sensor so I can feel it more easily or are there any settings I can change or tweak in some sort of way maybe to increase the haptic sensitivity or something like that I don't know any advice or guidance on this would be very welcome indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Darren, for that great question. And John, this is something that when the Pixel 6 series was introduced, this was one of the main problems that people were having uh, with the phone, especially that fingerprint reader that optical fingerprint reader that Google has there uh, is not as good as the ultrasonic ones and or the regular capacitive ones, frankly. And so some of the solutions that were suggested or some that some of us implemented that worked for us, and I know John and I have talked about this, uh, if you could use your thumb because then you're sure to hit that spot instead of maybe using like an index finger. But I mean, you could still use an index finger or use, you know, any finger. But I find it to be that if I include one of my thumbs as one of the fingers that I've included, then it kind of works better in the sense that it makes it possible for me to hit that um, reader every time and sometimes maybe you need to kind of press it a little bit harder or whatever. But also there were updates that fixed that or helped with that. And so if you have not had those updates, it's time to check for those updates to see that, uh, you know, that thing gets fixed. So you, you want to make sure you check for those updates. And that's one of the things that I could uh, suggest or also make sure that you turn on the sensitivity uh, in the display, especially if you happen to be using a screen protector, say a tempered glass or something to that effect, uh, try to do that or return those fingers again, remove them and add them again and, and see if it makes any difference. John, you have any comments about this? Yeah, so I also recommend using your thumb, even if you don't navigate your phone with your thumb, it, you know, it's just at least add it as one of your fingerprints because it, it will always fall in the same place. And not only do I recommend using your thumb, but keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the very end of your thumb. Like for me, and it depends on how long your fingers are and how big your phone is and all that. But for me, I just let my thumb rest across the screen so it's not actually the tip of my thumb that it's picking up it's actually a little further down on my thumb but that's the part of my thumb that li naturally lies across the screen so i use that as my fingerprint so that i'm not trying to hit a target and it's sort of always in the same place because i'm always holding my phone the same way and he mentioned in the uh the voicemail that uh asking about like a screen protector and there are screen protectors you can get that have a cutout for the fingerprint sensor. Um, I don't know that that would really solve your issue. It would help you to feel where it was, but eventually you would just have that muscle memory anyway. So I don't know that that would really help you in the long run. But um, yeah, the other thing to keep in mind is if you are using a screen protector, which I don't because 
it's just easier for me without one, but I know a lot of people need them. So if you do need to use a screen protector, um, make sure you re-register your uh, fingerprints after you've installed it. Um, I, I use sort of the flat of my finger as well, rather than the tip. Um, cause there's, then there's sort of more finger to, you know, to register on it. Yeah, exactly. On my, on, on my Samsung, I, I do miss it sometimes. I do, you know, I don't quite get my finger in the right place, but it, it does. Yeah. I, I'd say I, mine works more like 70, 80% of the time rather than, was it 20 that Darren said? Gosh. Um, yeah, I, I don't use the tip because also your nails might get in the way as well if you use the tips. I, I think as well, just worth uh, going mad to basics a little bit. Y your fingerprint sensor is always going to be in a straight line from your charging port. So uh, one thing you can do, e either use the thumb, as John or Warren said, I don't use my thumb, I use my index finger, and I have a high success rate. So make sure, you know, using your thumb and, you know, checking the underside of your finger if you want to, that your index finger is dropping uh, somewhere in a straight line from your USB port. How high up the screen your fingerprint sensor is might vary slightly from phone to phone. I, I, I've noticed that on, uh, on, on Samsung's, on my current Xiaomi, it's sort of towards the bottom about where the, phone, uh, the home button is. On, on the OnePlus, it was a little bit higher. But as John said, you, you'll develop a muscle memory. But but make sure you're, if you're not using your thumb uh, and you're using your index finger, then then make sure you know it, it, it's vaguely aligned with the USB port and drop it on the screen. Uh, as Warren said, some fingerprint sensors can be a little bit slow, so sometimes it is not so much a, a pressing hard. Although it could be, you know, just leave your finger on the screen for a little bit, uh, see if it unlocks. Another thing that can affect your uh, fingerprint is if your finger's a little bit damp um, or after a bath. I can't use my fingerprints for a few minutes after a bath because they've gone all kind of wrinkly from the bath, even if I've dried them. So, um, yeah, things like that can be worth bearing in mind as well. I like my phone because the fingerprint sensor is actually on the power button. And it just makes more sense to have it there than in the screen, in my personal opinion. Yeah, I agree. I prefer a power button, even a fingerprint sensor on the back. They just work so much better than in-screen fingerprint sensors. So, so that's really interesting because because I have a phone that has a fingerprint sensor in the power button, and I can see why it's easy, but I really don't like it because sometimes I want to invoke the lock screen without unlocking the phone. And what, what I tend to find is that I either have to make it register an incorrect finger to do that, or obviously if I put my, you know, my normal finger, the phone unlocks and I kind of lose that lock screen. So, I, yeah, it, it's interesting. I, I know a lot of people like it. I, uh, uh, I'm i not a massive fan of it. Yeah, I so I had my phone set to double tap on the screen to bring it up. So I have to, like, think about it. Like, am I just, am I opening my phone or am I just looking at my lock screen and then I double tap on the phone. But the thing is then to turn the screen off, I'd have to use the fingerprint sensor. So it would like unlock my phone and then turn the screen off <laughs> instead of just turn the screen off. So it's so a little I, bit awkward at times. I'm with Ed that frankly, I like capacitive uh, fingerprint readers, but I would rather have them in the back. Like we used to have them. I don't want one on the power because, um, I don't want to unlock my phone a lot of the time. I just want to be on the lock screen to look up something, and I do not want to unlock the phone. So for me, yeah, I know it sounds like a great idea, but I would rather have that one in the back instead of being on the power. Yeah, I don't mind the back. Yeah, yeah I had that on my, well, I've still got it on my Samsung S9, uh, which is my older phone now, and um, it is easier. Um, but uh, I think the power button one would still be easier than the on-screen one, but I can see what you're saying as well, Ed, about that it can be annoying too. 
Yeah, yeah. So it, I think it, it, you have to make it fail. You have you have to put some yeah, other thing. You haven't registered. <laughs> just feels a bit yeah. weird. Yeah. Yeah, a yeah. bit annoying. I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having those things in the back. I mean, we already have cameras back there, and I don't know why. Oh no, we're trying to make things look pretty. Uh, you have it in the back; it's looking ugly, or whatever the case is. And so we try to, hey, well, let's try putting it on the power, and then it creates a problem. So I don't know, man. It's I think the best solution is maybe that first unlock um, that we don't even have to touch the guard for a second screen or uh, touch the oh, back no. of the phone. No, 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 <laughs> no. no, no. Horrible thing. No, I don't no. like Face ID. I never have like Face ID. Oh, no, I'm so. with you, Angela. Horrible thing. Um, <laughs> but it's I, easier. Um, Even under the screen, I think fingerprints are easier. You can do it in your pocket and then, you know, tap an Apple, uh, you, uh, a pay terminal without waving your phone around in front of your face. I, I think um, maybe they stopped having the fingerprint on the back because maybe some people were silly and they kept putting their finger on the camera lens or something. I don't know. I can't no, think of any other think- reason. I think it's it's the fewer physical parts you have, the thinner the phone is. The, oh, the, exactly. It's that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, that. it's all about the beauty. Like I said, we're trying to make things look beautiful, uh, yeah. slim, and, you know, whatever. That's what drives it. Yeah. Uh, All phones just should look like me, and then they would be beauteous. Like well, you? Ed, Ed, the goal here is for phones to look, you know, decent and rep- and like respectable. That's what I said. Not like you, and because we don't want phones scaring children. They could be unshaven oh and hold beer cans and all sorts of things. <laughs> oh, oh or, no. or actually get better looking like me that gets better looking every day, you know. You've got uh, a face I'm radio. The, oh, yeah, but the problem there, one, You've got a face phones would lose everything in plain sight. Well, Warren's always telling me I'm the pretty one, so actually, exactly. they should look like me. Exactly. That's my Warren's point. Warren's blind, though. <laughs> the problem with the phone that looked like Ed is when you were done talking on it and you took it away from your face, it would grab onto your cheek. It would, well, it would like that. yeah, that's the other problem. I wouldn't yeah. buy that phone. absolutely pull your cheeks. Yeah, I wouldn't buy that. <laughs> that would be fun. like a bug yeah. in the software. <laughs> it's a feature, not a bug. It's a bug. It's a feature, not a bug. It's a virus. <laughs> but that that implies that Ed is like contractible. We we don't want that. No, the pulling cheeks <laughs> thing is <laughs> not Ed himself. That would be just too scary for words. Uh, but all I, all for I anyone for is... anyone who's a new listener. Ed has this thing about pulling cheeks. I don't know why. I don't get it, but he Ed, does. All I can say is, Ed, leave the ladies alone. Yeah, ladies. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> the cheeks alone. Uh, no, 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 I'm equal opportunities when it comes. He to does cheeks. not discriminate. I do not. Hey, Eddie. Leave yeah, the- but I'm saying leave the ladies alone. If you want to do it elsewhere, leave the ladies alone. That's all. No, all cheeks get pulled. Like I'm not. It's not. It's not. All uh, cheeks are uh, equal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But Warren's only concerned about the ladies. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Basically, he's, he's just offered, offered up his own cheeks. What he said is, pull my cheeks. <laughs> he didn't. Should we move yeah. on? He basically oh, did. boy. <laughs> All right. Did he not jump? Uh, <laughs> I think we should move on. It sounds good. <laughs> on, onward, uh, James. Yeah. 